pledging to protect the Yangtze River. Fishermen, police officers, and representatives from the Department of Agricultural and Rural Affairs gathered to witness the launch of new measures as part of a 10-year fishing ban on the Yangtze River. But to strengthen the protection of aquatic species in the Yangtze River, according to the outline issued by the State Council, I hereby announce that the 10-year fishing ban on all the natural waterways of the Yangtze River will start on January 1, 2021. China introduced a fishing ban in key areas of the river on January 1, 2020. Nearly all types of fishing have already been banned in 332 conservation areas in the Yangtze River Basin for the next 10 years. Beginning in the new year, the ban will be expanded to all natural waterways of the river and its major tributaries. I know the fishing ban will be good for the river, but my whole family has made a living from fishing for generations, so I was scared to stop fishing. But thanks to the government, I found new work and got even better pay and social security. China's crackdown on illegal fishing has intensified. Over the past six months, more than 4,700 criminal cases involving illegal fishing on the Yangtze River have been handled, and about 6,900 suspects were caught. In the next 10 years, we will keep an eye on the market to see if anyone is selling wild fish from the Yangtze River. And we will keep telling consumers not to buy any wild fish and report to the government if they find any on the market. The fishing ban has made people more aware of the need to preserve the river. A new law will be established for its conservation. Many are looking forward to seeing a new Yangtze River in the following 10 years. The Chinese people see the Yangtze River as a mother river. The Yangtze River region is home to nearly one-third of the country's population. So the people feel they have the responsibility to help it recover.